Hi, Ophicus. What's going on? I hope you all are well out there, wherever you are. Welcome to Ophicus and me, Tarot. I appreciate you guys for stopping by here with me today to see what's up, what's good, what's going on, what vibe I pick up on. So it's Sunday, April 2nd, 2023. It's uh, 10.49 p.m. right now where I am. And I just want to say thank you guys so very much for supporting me and helping me in this channel advance. I appreciate every single last one of you, old and new. So to the new people that are stopping by, I do Oracle, I do Index, I do three decks. And I've gotten into this thing where I double up on Oracle. If I used it yesterday, I'm going to use it today. I'm going to kind of keep that little pattern going for a minute. So on Saturdays, I always use the Angel Guide. So I'm going to use it again and see what message comes out for us all. I hope you guys had a good day today and are having a good evening or whenever, however, you know, time flows. Just hope you guys are enjoying yourselves out there. That's all I ever want to convey in any of my messages. You know, just enjoy life. Love love God. Love yourself. Love others respectfully. All right. If no one respects you, well, you know, they shouldn't be anywhere near you. Move along. All right. Here we go. Let's see what vibe I pick up on today. One more time. Mm. No. <laughs> they don't respect you. No respect, no love for them. Just <laughs> no. Empty handed. I have nothing for you. No. Interesting. So, let's see what this card is talking about. Oh, I'm always sitting on my leg. I make so much noise when I get ready to move. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. So it says here, no, your message, your angels are drawing close at this time to help you recognize that the answer to the question on your mind is no. This is not the time to proceed. You may want to, but you are being encouraged to see beyond the current situation the current situation and understand that following through on your ideas may have a negative effect on the whole course of your life. Angels are swooping in because they want to save the day and save you a lot of heartache from a choice that is not heart-centered. If you are feeling upset, or annoyed by this guidance, this is okay. You are allowed to have an emotional response, but in truth, there will be a part of you that already knows that what you are considering isn't the best use of your energy. It also says here, guys, extended message. Do not make plans. Do not move forward. Retreat and reflect. Think deeply. Seek the advice of those you love and trust and ask them to help you get to the bottom of the question or issue or decision that is before you. Do not make any sudden moves. This card is coming in to help you sustain your mental, emotional, and spiritual energy and stay on the road to wholeness. 
Ooh. No. Don't you dare move a muscle. <laughs> Sit still. Think about what you're going to do before you do it. So let's get out some of these here. Index cards. Appreciate you guys for being patient. Let's see what we get. And I won't be back on this channel or my other channel. I'm taking a week break, so I'll be back next Monday to do a reading. This is uh This is going to be an interesting one. They all are, actually. <clears throat> there must not be anything in this pile. <laughs> One more time. Second forever to get one out of here. Okay. <clears throat> Talk less. <clears throat> Show me. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> they were all in this pile. This side of it. Hmm. One more time. Whoa. Okay. It says explore <clears throat> more. Let me go blow my nose. This season one second. <laughs> okay. I'm back. I don't like all that extra stuff going on in my face when I'm trying to read. Okay. Oh, wow. That one came out yesterday. All right. Here we go with the yawning. All right. Second pile. Or be in the now. One more time. One thousand percent. Talk less. Show me. Show me. Show me. As my dad used to say, actions speak louder than words. Any day. Or as the children say now, say less, say less. Or maybe not just children. I say children, but then. You know, like, you realize how old you are when you're not saying all the new sayings and stuff like that. You're like, what? What did you just say? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, say less is kind of self-explanatory, you know? <laughs> say less, say less. One more time. Oh, 
that one came out yesterday too. Oh wow, and someone's name starts with the letter Z came out yesterday. I know no one's name is this, but when I put it down, the cartoon Dragon Ball Z came to my mind. Maybe someone likes that cartoon. One more time. Someone's name starts with the letter B. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> okay, so here we have it. Let's see what we get. Okay. So the first card out is he likes caramel women. Don't fall in that trap. Father in law. They want control. Tell them to relax. They don't love me like you do. Confidence is everything. They were a traitor. They're having reoccurring dreams. Focus. Is this apology sincere? It has some heavy burdens at this time. Time to release them. And someone has other obligations. So, you've come too far to turn back now. Okay. You stand out in a crowd. Okay. Eyes are watching you. Maybe you like to journal. The answer is within. Something took some time. It's solved. Don't stress. Ignite your power. Someone's mask is still on. Someone rides the metro train, maybe for work or school or something. You live here where I live in the northern hemisphere of America. Play lottery and win. So chain. Something is highly forbidden. We have here yellow uh, solar plexus. Things that you are, uh, your endeavors, things that you're passionate about, things that you want to do and see come to fruition. Someone's name starts with the letter K. Endure a little while longer. You had to do what you had to do. You outgrew that energy. You know exactly what to do. Take yourself out on a date. Someone is not your usual type. You're at the finish line. Someone's name starts with the letter L. Maybe you have elderly parents from the ground up to the top. You're buying your first home. You're linked in everywhere. Babies on the way, twins, triplets. Is it love or is it lust? Take your time and there's no need to rush. They don't understand you. Keep pushing through. And you have a coworker here. Okay. Alright, so no. <laughs> Whatever it is, just no. Rethink some things. Don't push forward with any projects or something that's been on your mind. Realign it. Like I was saying yesterday, maybe it's not aligned right with God or something of that nature or for the greater good or something. There's something that needs to be reordered or revised. Okay. The answer is within. Okay. 
We have some heavy burdens here or time to be released. All right, just focus. Maybe it's in this reoccurring dream that you have, okay? Confidence is everything. Don't fall into that trap. Is this apology sincere? All right. Good solve. Don't stress. You know exactly what to do. You had to do what you had to do. Endure a little bit longer. Maybe someone's going to start to go there. K or L. You're at the finish line. Is it love or is it lust? Take your time. There's no need to rush. Keep, keep, keep pushing through. Maybe you have elderly parents. They don't understand you from the ground up to the top. You're buying your first home. Something is highly forbidden. Okay, he likes caramel. Women, you stand out in a crowd. Eyes are watching you. Okay, they want control. Tell them to relax. Alright, like I said, you like journaling. Um, they were a trader. The mask is still on. Maybe you ride the metro train a lot. You live in North America. Play lottery and win. Ignite your power. Someone's not your usual type. <laughs> Take yourself out on a date. Um, they don't love me like you do. And, um, yeah, you have gruesome energy. And have some heavy burdens. Time to release them. Took some time. They have other obligations. You come too far to turn back now. Confidence is everything. Take yourself out on the day. Baby's on the way. Twins, triplets. And, um, did I say you brought your first home? I think I did. Congratulations. And you have your color yellow. So, solar plexus. And, like I said, things that you're passionate about, things that you're doing, and so on and so forth. One more time. Hmm, the magician. So, you know that you have all of the right power, components, characteristics, skills, everything that's required to make something happen, okay? But it's time for you to go a little bit deeper before you move forward, okay? And this is something that you know deep down inside. That you shouldn't maybe do something in particular. Okay? There's your ace of swords. So don't fall into this trap. Okay? Focus. Alright? There's people who say eyes are watching you. Don't let somebody, you know, watch you fall into a trap. Okay? And you've been working so hard on huh? certain things, but it's just time to take a, like I said yesterday, a small break or something, and uh, re recalibrate, okay, that's why it hasn't went through yet, that's why they've been trying to stop you, alright, so here, the moon, I kind of feel like this, I'm not going to take it in reverse, so here, these are talking about things that maybe you don't want to talk about, you have some heavy burdens here, you know, hidden emotions, or maybe about how you're feeling about all of this. Here with the Eight of Coins in reverse. Maybe it's easy, easy. you need to take a break. Or maybe you even feel like your, your efforts of working are so hard on something. Or um, not doing you any good, or something like that. But here is the strength part. Okay, you stand out in a crowd. You're different. All right. So don't stop being who you are. It says endure a little while longer. Okay. You just have to look at things from a different perspective, or something, guys. Okay, here with the three of swords. I guess it hurts a little bit, you know, maybe because you 
you don't want to revise it or something. I'm just mad that it hasn't done what it was supposed to do already. So it's like, yeah, you're hurt because you know that you have all this power and all this confidence in yourself and you stand out in the crowd and you just got this yellow chakra solar plexus going, you know, and you know, you want to ignite that power, but something is slowing you down. So here you may be this emperor that's at the top of your game and you're wondering why am I having this hold up or something of that nature? Hmm, interesting. Take your time, there's no need to rush. Endure a little while longer. Maybe if. <laughs> I don't know, it just stuck out. If you have elderly parents, maybe you shouldn't be trying. Don't get mad, but it's just the reality of it. You know, um, if you have elderly parents and ugh, if they don't have a caregiver or something, who's going to take care of them? What if you're the only child or something like that? And it's just like you have to wait about moving forward or something or even buying your first home and you're thinking about moving far away you're gonna have to end up coming right back to take care of them so just wait because they need to map this up house or something you're gonna be gone all the time it's, i don't know i don't know why that came up i guess because i was looking right at it i don't know and looking at this emperor you being at this stage in your life knowing like i said knowing you have all of this great skill and characteristics about yourself and confidence and everything. You've been there, done that on all levels. But you're not wondering maybe why certain things aren't falling through or you're feeling uh, hesitant on a certain move or something like that. So, and you're like, oh, Maybe I should just stop working and my efforts aren't getting me anywhere or, you know, I should stop working so hard on trying to do this right now because, you know, it seems like I'm not getting any uh, positive results. So here with the Nine of Cups, you're in a space where you're you're happy with who you are, you know. And... Um, Maybe you do take yourself out on dates a lot. Here you have the uh, blank slate, though. Uh, see, I'm moving my leg around again. So, um, with the blank slate, when I get that card, it's either like, you know, it's fresh start. I'm going to start over. Or... come to some sort of space in your mind where excuse me where you can restructure that and paint it to look a little bit different just so just so you can um, just so you can kind of still be happy because you've been working so hard, okay, and it says you've come so far, don't turn back now, and you do have some burdens here. So this first card out is the Two of Cups, and then the Seven of Coins. One second, I'll get the last card out. I don't want one right now.
and this is the sexy cups. Yeah. So whoever's known you since you were a child, you know. Your parents have known you since you were a child. You know, it could be anybody. This two of cups. Um which is love, a loving romantic relationship. Um so that's out here somewhere, right? And it says, is it love or is it lust? It says two of cups. So, you know, hopefully it's love for you and someone that can have your back in this circumstance that you're going through and maybe be a, some sort of good uh, support or advice or something like that. With the seven of coins, you try to make numerous things happen. Right, and maybe you have you you've planted plenty of seeds. Being the emperor, you tried many things, and now you're trying to do one of these here grand projects, you know, or or great achievements. And it's like I'm not getting anywhere. Excuse me. So with the six of cups. So that's some relationship that you've had since you were young, okay? Or someone that's known you since you were young. And I guess you're feeling a little bit of uh, defeat or something at this time. Or slight fear. Because all you want to do is invest, but it seems it's like it's a tombstone. But it seems like something is just kind of dead. Like you're sitting on the world. You see all this money. You see all these great things. But it's just like, uh, what's going on? You know? What's going on? And here, don't, don't let that energy come in and take you down. Okay, because when things aren't going right, you know, find a, a place where you can fall into upsetness or small depression. It's it's not hard to get stuck there. So remind yourself of why you have to do the things that you have to do. It's not just you know uh, you know everything happens for a reason. It's not just happening happen. It's because something else needs to happen, or this you need to see something a little differently. Okay, so here with the hangman, it's not like you haven't been thinking about these things. Like it's like the book said, it's already like you know exactly what it is before I even did the reading, just listening to the oracle part. Whatever came to your mind, that's what it was. Five of Wands it talks about uh, competition, arguing, things not going your way, haters, people trying to pull you down, so on and so forth, right? So here are the Page of Cups with the Two of Swans, you know, Two of Cups sitting right here with those swans all loved up. Um, maybe that's saying that you would like to be in this love situation, so you have to and, uh, ask someone else. You have to ask someone out. I, I don't know why a co-worker just stood out to me. I guess that's because that's like the only person, like, type, that, you know what I'm saying, that 
just came out. Maybe, possibly, maybe you like the person, or maybe it's the Six of Cups, someone that you know forever. I'm not too sure. Oh, wow. You have this other day, Queen of Cups, so you're this very loving individual, or you want to offer love to this individual because Emperor came out first. Okay, so you flip it however you want to flip it, and then you have here the Two of Pentacles, which is your chains looking at your past, where you are, and where you're going. All right, so it's like, yeah, you have to stop and you try not to get into this sunken place. So it's like, let me maybe focus on love or something right now to maybe bring me up out of where I'm at. Because where I'm at right now is just not it. It's a sword. So it's, it's like you turn to love so you don't get depressed about what you're doing. That was the Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, I only need two more cards, but you have the Eight of Pentacles here. And you're turning to love. Like you want to give this person all your love. You started off with an offer. And <clears throat> the higher front, like, you want it to be the real deal. Or you've been talking to God about, you know, your life and where, where it's at and all these things. And if you have elderly parents, you're looking at them. But you don't ha even have a wife, but you've just been gung-ho on your career and your achievements and all of this stuff. And it's like... Focus, you have focus, focus on something different, now. a different aspect of uh, life. Okay, so you have there the Ten of Swords, which is negativity, you know, negative thinking. You know, just looking at this sword, like, oh my gosh, is this one about to, is this it? It's gonna, it's gonna take me out, you know. So you know, a lot of hardships, okay? Or maybe you're feeling like that right now. Like, it's the world against you. Everything you try to do is just not working out, you know? So, you have to take the time to go in, go within and, and reflect. Like, that's why the hair font came out. Go and talk to God about some things. <clears throat> and here with the Five of Cups, you've had different relationships. Maybe that sent you into the space of sent you into the space of not wanting to deal with anybody and just worrying about your achievements because relationships are so challenging. I appreciate you guys for being here with me today or any day, but I really do appreciate you right now. Thank you so very much for coming to rock with me here where I do your daily reads on a few percent row. Come back anytime. But yes, I won't be here for a week. If you're still here, thank you so very much. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for all your love and support. And um, like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. And of course, only if you like, I appreciate you guys so much. So, here we go. Here's the last deck. Let's see what we get. One more game. One more game. There's your five of swords was right <clears throat> here. So something, you know, has you in a space of doubt, defeat, you know, fear about something, something may not work out or something. And I'm thinking maybe it's about this love. Like, you know, everything else isn't working right now, so you turn to love to kind of soothe your your heart or something. <laughs> yeah, because you just used to make money. You're just a money magnet. The money man. 
They say you're the emperor. You, you, you're there. You, you're just focusing in on your achievements. And you're getting older and you have to realize that maybe it's time to work with somebody that's Queen of Cups. You know, maybe you're doubting it. Maybe, you know, like I said, I don't know who this person is. You have the Two of Cups. You have the Page of Cups offering love to somebody. Okay. Two of Swords being blinded by something. Not knowing that uh, you would probably end up going down this route like this. Or this road. With the Nine of Cups. Like I said, you're happy. You're in your space. You're a happy person. You know, you're just trying to uh, accept <clears throat> What's going on around you and uh, humble yourself, I guess, again, or something like that. And here with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, I don't, that's not stability because you're the King of Pentacles. So, excuse me, that's just like, you know, you're not holding on to something too tight. Um, you're just kind of, you know, allowing things to be, maybe not even holding on to the idea too tight about if this person, that was a seven of wands right, right, but it, I wasn't really ready for that, so here's your five of cups, which is over here at the bottom, so like I say, you're just holding on, you're not really too sure, because you've been in that space before, you know, like, I don't know, Really don't know if love is really there, but it's there. So now at the bottom is seven of swords. So don't lie to yourself, okay? Just allow things to be, okay? And uh, look at things for what they are all the way around. All situations, all right? All right, if you just take care of yourself, be good, and I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.